granted. You really do, but he is so good that every team in his division every year is trying to make sure they draft people charged with trying to block J.J. Watt. So far, hasn't been too successful. On second down, here's Simeon. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it. An in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. This will be play number eight on the drive. It's third and goal. Here we go now. Now Simeon on third and goal. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. He'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. Now Brandon McManus for the Bronco field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? Following the penalty, Anderson, and he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the end. Second and goal to go now. They'll run for it with Anderson. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to Denver right after this. Well, they held him out on second down, and now here's third and goal. Now let's go. Lynch on the keeper, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Denver. Paxton Lynch taking it in. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying the football game. So he's able to sneak it in and credit to the guys up front. Oh, without a doubt, because they have the leverage on this play. We always talk about low man wins and one-on-one -on -one battles. That's exactly what happened there. Their, their offensive line, lower than the defensive front. Uh-oh, flag comes out here. This is going to be roughing the kicker. When you're going back there on the kick block, you've got to go to the right point. That didn't happen. Ran into the kicker. The penalty flag had to come out. And you combine a big leg with a mile high air. There's the outcome. This will sail out of the end zone for a touchback. First down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Let's look ahead for a quick minute. We don't have the schedules yet for next year, but what we do have are the five international games that will be played. Four in London and then one again in Mexico. Jacksonville, Baltimore, Miami, New Orleans, Cleveland, Minnesota, Rams in Arizona. Those in London, and then Mexico is going to get a great game. The Raiders and New England. Yeah, you're exactly right. And just think about the ones in London. Remember, they're splitting them between the two different stadiums yep. in London. So they get a different flavor in all these places. But Mexico, for the second straight year, the Raiders are coming to town. That should be a whole lot of fun. Should be a ton of fun and a very good matchup. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. 
On third down, Osweiler. Right side, caught Fedorowicz. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So now the Texans will call on the veteran Shane Leckler to kick this one away. Emmanuel Sanders deep for the Broncos. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. Yeah, Sanders now to return. 31 yards on the punt there. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. He's got his tight end complete. It's green. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They go play action here on first down. His throw up at about the five. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Jordan Norwood, 29 yards. And the Broncos have taken the lead. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now out comes Houston. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Play fake here on first down. Going up top. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Well, partner, I guess that answers the question about whether they're going to sit on it or not. <laughs> it does. Now we'll see if they try that again. Yeah, I think what we find on plays like that, when you take that shot, if you're unsuccessful, then you go way more conservative to finish the half, you know? I think that's the way they'll go. They go play action now. Osweiler served nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So a big sack on second down. Now let's see what the offense has in store for third. Play action. It's Osweiler. He's got his man on the comebacker. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. And now a whistle and a timeout called by the kicking team. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward.
Here's Shane Leckler now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Now Sanders. 12 yards on the return that time. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. And now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. A final shot before break. Simeon going for the deep ball. And this one is incomplete. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. So both teams have their marching orders and...